To get to the Swift Run Trail, you take Old Forge Road up to Swift Run Road, make a left and go up about two or three hundred yards and you'll see the Swift Run parking area on the left. My name's Greg. I'm a 65 year old hiker, mountain biker, and I'm out here today to try and bike the uh, Swift Run Snowmobile Trail. It's located off of Old Forge Road in the Mitchock State Forest. I've never done this, not sure how far it goes, where it ends up, but we're going to take it today and find out. We are in the Mitchock State Forest off of Old Forge Road just north of Waynesboro, Pennsylvania. It's February 4th, 2020 and a 56 degree day out. people riding horses back here. So far, not a bad trail. A bit of rush and a rough from the horses. It's been extremely wet. No snow this year. A lot of water. I'm into right now. Little balls. Little mushy and wet today. deep in the mud here. Back out of it. And back into it. Not sure how far this goes, how long it goes. We will find out. Ugh. It's really deep. Well, it turns out the Swift Run Snowmobile Trail was fun but very short. Probably is only about a half a mile long. It brings you out on Staley Road which when you take Stella Road downhill and bring you out of Camp Pan back on the old Forge Road. Even though the trail is short, there's lots of fire roads, places for hiking and biking. But you can't Although take the Swift Run Trail was short, by coming down Staley Road and making left, you can go up the Rattlesnake Run a track. and within about probably less than Point a half up. mile you can connect with the Chickadee Trail which I had done a video on previously. This is probably about a two climb. or three mile trail that takes you down to more fire roads. I ended up having a great day by connecting the uh, several trails and as you'll see later a pipeline that ran clear from the beginning of Mitchell State Forest back up to Camp Penn. Oh, 
Yeah, nice trail though. This chickadee trail is actually more fun and better to ride in the winter when it's not so overgrown and you can see what you're doing. Uh, a lot of the leaves have already disappeared and in the summer there's grasses and it's overgrown. It's a lot better trail uh, nice. right this time than it was about six months ago. Quite a climb. dangerous. On another trail, looks like it's a gas pipeline, but people have been using it for biking and hiking, it looks like horses. Unbelievable day for February 4th. Supposed to be 62 degrees today.
Uh, I don't think I can. Pipeline other than that little swamp here is not in that bad of shape. The summer's all overgrown and full of ticks. Again, this is Mitchuck State Forest off of Old Ford Road. Wide open spaces. Off the pipeline, I found a, I guess an old fire road, a logging road. Never saw this before. Very nice. Looks like it might go for quite a while to be explored another time. Looks like I climbed up the mountain. There's the pipeline. Cross it back down. This should bring us out at Old Forge Road since we took a right. But again, never saw this road before, didn't know it existed. Up and off that way. Okay. Now we're back out on the old forge, heading into Camp Penn. It's a summer camp, church camp used pretty much all summer for different church groups, outings, conferences. And then has a nice picnic area. Camp Pet. And here's the old Forge State Forest picnic area.
This also has pavilions and is used quite extensively all summer long and fall. I'm only showing about 15 minutes of what was a great winter mountain bike ride. Starting out trying to find where Swift Run Trail went led me into probably uh, most of the morning biking Chickadee Trail, up Wirt Road, found some nice fire roads, ended up taking the pipeline from Wirt Road back up to Camp Penn, and just had a great day mountain biking. I ended up exhausted and muddy and hope to come back and explore some other trails that I saw and didn't have time to take. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.